David Pandanoa, Minister of Internal Affairs. All right, so what about you and many more in McKinney today? Um, today, we're very happy here in McKinney. We've launched the um, Northern Region Office for the Sierra Leone National Commission on Small Arms. Moving forward, what is this office going to address? Um, this office will be looking at registering um, arms, small arms, um, and ammunition. Uh, what it would actually do is to stop the proliferation of small arms to mark weapons that are existing um, currently. And so we're encouraging everybody who has arms currently not registered to come to the offices. We've made it easy for opening a regional office. We just opened one in Bo. We're opening one now in McKinney um, um, this week. And so people to come in, making it easy. His Excellency the President has this human love his love for human beings and he's asking us to do everything possible to make life easy for our our people and one of them is this bring in an office bring the services to the people instead of making it central we're decentralizing the offices and that's what we're doing and we'll continue to do since the um war was curbed in sierra leone how safe do you think the country is in terms of controlling um, um, arms and ammunition? Um, many things. The war have brought to Sierra Leone. Um, and one of the things before the war, there were hardly any, you could hardly see any guns. If you saw guns, it was hunters, a few hunters. That's if you lived in the provinces. Uh, or you saw them at um, 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 maybe the military, you'd have one or two guns. But you didn't see guns at all. Um, mm -hmm. During the war, when the war came in, Lots of arms came in, a lot of the people, even children could tell you what sounds the guns made, what gun was fired, whether it's an RPG, whether it's a rifle, whether it's an AK-47, they'll tell you all these things. And so, um, 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 and so after the war, a lot of these weapons were not taken back were not handed in. There was call for amnesty, for arms to be brought in, but not everybody brought back their weapons. And so those ones are still out there. And so we're asking people to please come in and register yes. these arms, to register the ammunition that they have, to make it safe for all of us. So you don't, you're not hiding. Because hiding your weapon, maybe one day you're hiding it, your child may find it because you're hiding in a place that's not appropriate. Your child might find it and distort, um, and maybe on, accidentally discharge such a firearm. You understand? Um, you know, and if it's found, maybe for uh, something else, somebody searching your home, police searching your home, and then they find that weapon is not um, registered, it's illegal, and you're charged for something that you could have easily registered, charged for something else. So we're asking people to come in registered so you illegally own it, and so we have a record of people who have guns, who have ammunitions with them. All right, several um, commitments were made by Paramount chiefs, among other key stakeholders that attended the launch, you know. Well, how committed is your ministry in the, ensuring that the small arms get the needed attention? Um, as you can see, I'm here. That's, that's proof enough to say that we're backing the Small Arms Commission everywhere they're gone this week we've been. Um, um, and, and government has political, there's a political will to support it because His Excellency knows that small arms is there, it's pro there's proliferation of small arms. The Sahel is just above us and we, we're not immune from any form of attacks by tourists and all the others. We have a youth ball, bubble, a bulge. The youth have, it's difficult finding work at this time, employment is a difficulty and so they're sitting idle so anybody bringing that kind of thing to them they might get themselves involved and so that's why we're thinking you know let's let's let it's important for us to do this it's important for us to back and to be because it's an important important concept we have to prevent the proliferation it's part good for us to prevent than to try to to heal how soon are you going to address the challenges on the line House. We are on them currently. That's what we are doing. We're here today with um, um, the Small Arms Commission, um, working on 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 on, on uh, making sure we, we prevent proliferation. We've been doing that. We went to Bo. We're going all around the country in areas where we can. And every day we're looking for ways and means to help the process, to push the process forward. Uh, and we're with them. The government is with them 100 percent in ensuring that we we stay at peace with our people. You just asked me about the security situation, and that's what makes it peaceful. In know that we can register and somebody knows well uh, this gun i can't just use my gun 
I have I've been taught what to do, how to use it, why I should use it, when I should use it, how to keep it. So he's aware that he has a potentially very lethal weapon that is considered very um, important. And so to, for me to have it, it's important that I have it. And so we, we, we that's how we know we're going to move forward. And we want to get a community sensitization, going out to communities, talking about it, discussing it. What we had here was a discourse on it from various speakers, various areas. And we learned a lot today about the small arms and the, the consequences of us having small arms proliferation in the country. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.